Hello and welcome to Fort Dunlop, the home of the Birmingham Mail, Birmingham Post and Sunday Mercury. Uh, today we're joined by Claire Short and Ladywood MP, who's been an MP for the last 26 years. Um, we'll be talking today about Claire's career and uh, the high points, low points and uh, any plans for the future and her thoughts on some uh, topical political subjects. Claire, thanks for joining me. Um, I suppose the best place to start at the beginning. Um, what really sort of inspired you to get into politics in the first place? I think it was the family I grew up in. My father was... no, Actually, my parents were in the Labour Party, um, but hadn't stood for elective office. But it was quite a political household in the sort of sense of issues discussed. And my father came from... Northern Ireland, a village just three miles north of the border, and Ireland was partitioned when he was 17, and he was aggrieved that his bit of Ireland didn't become independent. And we have this general view of the British Empire not being such a good, glorious thing. And uh, he was a head teacher in St Anne's School in Birmingham, which then was a, served a very poor community, and he used to go rushing off at the weekend when families got thrown on the streets because this was the days of... Rackman landlords and whole families living in one room. So, and we grew up in Hansworth. So, the sort of, my mum was a very sort of generous, liberation theology type Catholic, um, very religious, but very generous hearted. So, we were sort of, if someone in the road was sick, off you go with the sort of extra dinner for them. So, it was a naturally political family. I mean, if you met my sisters and brothers, you'd see the similarities in um, in a good way that was about the world and our society rather than how can I advance myself. Mm -hmm. But therefore, naturally very political. And then I was going to go and be a teacher. There's loads of teachers in my family. And um, to one of my sisters, one of my brothers, you know, both sides, there's lots of aunts and uncles and cousins. And then um, I found out that people like us could go to university, which in those days was astonishing. And so I thought, I will. And this was the 60s when it was full employment. So you chose a subject to study out of pure interest. Um, and I found out you could study what was called politics, political science. I did some economics, sociology, lots of political and moral philosophy, just because it interested me. And then I never meant to be a politician. Then when I graduated, I, you know, what to do... And I took the exams to go into the senior civil service, not meaning to stay. In those days, there was a very elite entry. I thought I'd go and have a look at the British establishment at work. And I did. And I worked in a couple of ministers' private offices and went to the House of Commons, you know, to pass them the pieces of paper about what to say. And that was the point when I thought, good heavens, I could do at least as well as this. And that it was when I met them that, my natural political in interests, and I was a member of the Labour Party, became, I could come here and full-time work for the things I believe in. So, and then that was buh, 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 mid-70s, no, mid-80s, maybe. And then I thought, oh, my dream would be to be the MP for the place I grew up. And then Sheila Wright was the MP, and then she stood down, and I put myself forward and got selected, and... Here I am. So it must be very proud sort of um, representing the area where you've grown up. It's a lovely thing. It's like, you know, my granny was born and grew there. Um, my mom, and my mom's side of the family, you know, back some generations all grew up around Hansworth. So you feel very rooted um, and very connected to all the streets and the people. Proud to be a Brummie then. Yes, and I, it is a lovely thing to represent the place you come from. You know it in an intimate way that you, all the other places that you live when you go and work, you don't know quite as deeply as, you know, I was looking at this shop today and thinking, that's where I used to get my sweets and now look what it does, you know. So. <laughs> and um, what would you say have been the sort of high points of, of your political career? I have loved and been honoured to be an active constituency MP and just being available to lots and lots of people who have pickles and problems in their life and often have done everything they're supposed to do to sort it out, but often the system doesn't work. So that's thousands and thousands of people that you can help out. And through good times and bad in politics, being able to do that keeps you going. And I feel good about that. And I've loved the people, you know, even the exasperating ones. I am fond of them. And um, 
I suppose my six years um, leading the Department for International Development, and it was a, a high point in Britain's role in the world in trying to get the world to be more just and take care of or give the poorest countries a better chance. Before the declaration of the war on terror, it was a time of great optimism in the international system. That was uh, a great time. The other thing I would say, I mean, all through the Thatcher years, when people who lived in my constituents had a terrible time, unemployment grew massively, as it did in Birmingham, I spoke the truth, if you know what I mean. I think there's a point not just in getting power, there's also a point in testifying to reality. So there is a point in opposition. People say there isn't, and just resisting things that are bad and that are hurting people.